Thank you for joining us live on KEXP. I'm Cheryl Waters down here in the KEXP studios. So happy to be here with one of our favorite bands, one we've known a very long time. It's Rodrigo y Gabriela. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Always such a pleasure to see you and a new album to boot. I'm so excited to hear songs from the new record, In Between Thoughts, A New World. Why don't you start us off with some songs and then we'll catch up. Rodrigo y Gabriela live on KEXP. listening to Rodrigo y Gabriela live on KEXP, songs from the new album In Between Thoughts, A New World.
Oh my goodness, Rodrigo and Gabriela are just smashing it here live in the KEXP studios. We're live in the KEXP studios with Rodrigo y Gabriela performing songs from the new album, In Between Thoughts, A New World. We're always so excited to have them spend time with us here at KEXP. I appreciate you being so generous with your time always. They have a big show playing to a big crowd tonight and doing something very special just for KEXP listeners today.
That was outstanding. We're in the KEXP studios with Rodrigo y Gabriela performing songs from the new album, In Between Thoughts, A New World. Oh my goodness, it's just so wonderful to have you here today. Thank you so much. Thank you very much for having us. Every time, every time I see you perform live, my heart is just filled with so much joy, but also my mind is filled with a lot of envy because I really wish I could do that. <laughs> and in a parallel universe, I know how to play like that. And it's <laughs> Rodrigo y Gabriela y Cheryl. <laughs> Absolutely. Do you, play, do you play something? Yeah. I can play a few chords around the campfire. Okay. That's okay. it. But uh, give me 10 or 20 years and uh, I would love to join That's this good. group. Oh my goodness. I mean, you've been doing this for such a long time you make it look so effortless you started playing together when you were like 15 years old yes, yes. very very young uh, and in the metal band do you still try to incorporate metal elements and all you do you're always changing things up from album to album yes. but it seems like that's a thread for sure especially this album we added uh, more um, I mean I'm playing electric guitar full-on in this album and the album because it's like a like story based on this concept which is actually pretty kind of deep and spiritual in, in many ways is based on the non-dual philosophy kind of the 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 old indian vedanta philosophy but um but this music is not like a new age you know it's like it's based on on a on a story that gav kind of uh had when we were writing the music for this album and we're doing the soundtrack for it in a way you know and uh and yeah, so it's full of like, with the last track is like, a, it's a part of the story when it goes a little bit um, mental in terms of, you know, this fight we have between the mind and, and this, the, the I am, which is, uh, uh, you know, at the, end, it's, 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 at the end of the day, it's just the mind just going crazy. And when we just get still and we observe the mind, we realize that, uh, you know, there was no uh, self there, it's just the... the the, the thing the that thing is prior to mine. Yeah, it's that. too early That's for this uh, topic, but <laughs> anyway. So yeah, we, we basically we do incorporate heavy metal into <laughs> Well, you talk about creating this character that then you're sort of writing about, yes. but it feels like that you're reflecting your own life experience totally. as you're writing. Uh, totally, it's just uh, in our heads, because music is such a universal language of, of emotions and also, um, I think our music it has a lot of narratives going on that you can create stories and we, we're telling stories with the music. And for this album, for me, it was like, ah, we should write the, the story. So probably next year, we're gonna share it with our fans, the, the full stories of each piece and the full context. But it's been based on also in our personal experience, you know, and all these really good tools, a spiritual sort of thing that help us to navigate this crazy world. Yeah. It's challenging enough. <laughs> the third song you played today, Finding Myself, yes. leads me to you. I mean, that's such a profound thought. Is, uh, where, where did that come from for you? It's, it's like I said, I think uh, everything kind of started when, uh, you know, we wrote this album during the pandemic and we took the best out of it, really. You know, I mean, like many of us, and it was very challenging. And what we found out that, um, you know, if we could um, face uh, those times and, and and find peace back in the day, which was very challenging, then when we started to just come out and, and facing, you know, the normal reality, um, we uh, observed that we, you know, we could do the same, you know, that we, we did back in the day and find freedom. Because freedom is there like uh, all the time, you know, 24 seven for us. But it's our minds that just go crazy, you know? And, uh, you know, being at peace with this thing has uh, liberated us a lot, really, you know? You talked about having kind of a fruitful time during the pandemic, and a recurring theme that I'm hearing from musicians is, especially ones that were about to go or in the middle of these long tours that had to grind to a halt and then had this quiet time, is that they found that they were more than ever making the albums just for themselves. They weren't thinking exactly. of an audience, didn't even know many of them that there was going to be an album exactly. from what they were making. And you clearly seem to have done that because all of your albums morph and change and grow, but you went off into some wild directions on this, yes. putting orchestral and electronic elements. Tell me how the germination of those elements in this new album. 
Well, yeah, it's exactly that process that we, once we knew the apocalypse was happening, then we went back to our tropical city in Mexico for the tropical apocalypse there. <laughs> and it was just like, for me and Rod, it's like a plane saved us of all our crazy thoughts and ideas. So that time was like, well, let's go back to the studio and just wait, you know? So. As a lot of musicians, there was no expectations in our heads, not, no, 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 no an agenda, you know? So we basically were just killing time. We said, well, what about we put some electronics? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's just throw it there. And then what about we put some maybe a bass line or whatever? And now let's bring the orchestra, why not? <laughs> and a so full like orchestra. And a full orchestra, <laughs> yes. So, and then when we finished the full process, and then I said to Rod, well, it seems like this like is, is like the new album, and we would need to record the guitars. And then he said, nah, we're not going to record the guitars. We're not going to, this is it. If the world is going to continue, this is the album, you know? So then here we are. <laughs> oh, such a fantastic album it is as well. I think something that creates real admiration for Rodrigo y Gabriela is how present you are in your music. And I've read in interviews how you talked about just in the days, even at the beginning when you were busking, you felt like you had to just be 100% in the moment. And all these many decades later, you are still doing that. You can tell every time you watch that you're in the moment. I mean, can you talk a little bit about that? You just never, playing night after night after night, it never seems like you dial it in. Well, um, uh, thank you very much for saying that. Uh, I wish I was in the present moment all the time, but um, f b uh, certainly playing music and uh, you know any kind of uh, art form is uh, is a really helpful window to to be present. When you it's the same for sports, right? When you are really what they they call in the flow, it's really being present and and leaving your you know the personality aside, you know, and just like. Because if you're if you're playing, you think like you're thinking, oh my God, you know, it's like uh, who, who's watching me or who what, what are gonna think of you know if I make a mistake or whatever. Then you are totally in ego, in an ego land thing situation. But that I mean, being present doesn't really happen all the time. But it's it really requires practice, I think. And uh, it's just a, it's just about remind reminding yourself every every well in my case because I need it, and I think Gabs too. But every morning, I mean, we are just talking uh, about these topics, uh, uh, listening to stuff that is n not too much music actually. A lot of you know speakers talking about these things, you know, being present and 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 you know trying to make your suffering less and less, you know, because. Most of it is really just, as I said before, we created it. So it's yeah. all about yeah. The mind is very powerful. Yeah. Well, exactly. and the record, In Between Thoughts, A New World. That's, that's it. That's, you know, the, the name kind of points at that, because when, you know, in between thoughts, there's always a space, and that space is stillness, and it's always there. And, but we focus, and we really cling to these thoughts, you know? No matter if it's super good thought or a bad thought, it's actually the same. Really, it is the same. And in between those things, there's always a space, and we don't stop existing, you know? There's a gap of freedom, and that's when, when we meditate or whatever, we look for those moments. When we are in deep sleep, we are in the, the but we, we forget, you know? When we're here, we forget all the time, and that's what, you know, our experience goes, you know? Oh, I thank you so much for being here. It is always thank such you. a pleasure, and love the new record, thank and you. I can't thank wait to see you again already. Thank <laughs> well, you very thank much. Thank you, guys. Really You've always been it. a thank great you. support for us, and we really, really love you. Thank you, and, and our audience and our fans, we, we love you. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day. Thank you. It's thank Rodrigo you. y Gabriela here in the KEXP studios. We do want to thank our wonderful viewers and listeners for making sessions like this possible. We are listener powered. You can learn more about us at kexp.org. And if you are so inclined, make a gift anytime to support, to support discovery of a great new band every single day here on KEXP. And subscribe to our YouTube channel and get notification every time we launch a new live video. Once again, thank you. Rodrigo thank y Gabriela you. live you. on KEXP. See ya. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.